We have talked quite a bit about, about the deity Tara and the different categories and different systems. And some time ago, we, we talked about the 21 Taras according to the system of Surya Gupta. Uh, so the, there's two main systems for the 21 Taras that we see in art. Uh, it's the Surya Gupta, and, and I say Surya Gupta first rather than Atisha because Surya Gupta uh, predates. He's earlier than Atisha. Uh, that's the only reason. So Atisha, the Atisha system of 21 Taras, the special unique features of the system are that all of the Taras are uniform in physical appearance. They all have one face, two arms, two legs. They're all generally peaceful or, or slightly... Um, I don't want to say wrathful, they're, they're slightly fearsome. There are no wrathful ornaments or garments. So the physical appearance of the Taras is the same for all 21. What really changes is the color, and the colors are different, and the each of the Taras holds a vase uh, in the right hand across the right knee, and according to the texts, the color of Tara, be it white or orange or red or maroon, the color of the Tara is the same color as the vase that she holds in the right hand. Th this is really the, the main feature, the main iconographic characteristic for recognizing the system of 21 Taras is when you see a peaceful female deity holding a vase, vase is the same color. Now, that's text-based. In art, it's not always the case. Sometimes the artist will choose to um, paint the, the vase in gold, uh, like the ornaments on the body. And that's just the artist's choice. Some systems depict all of the faces the, the same. Some uh, Atisha systems, when I say system here, I just mean uh, different tradition, painting traditions. Um, other traditions will be more uh, precise and exact um, based on the text. And in the text where it says, for instance, that uh, a maroon deity or a red-colored uh, 21 uh, Tara deity is slightly fearsome, then the mouth will be, will be drawn as open rather than closed, and the eyes might be a little bit more, the, the brow might be more furrowed, uh, or the eyes are, are wider open rather than in a, a more of a meditative Buddha-like uh, appearance. So we do get variations in the art, in, in how the artist is depicting, based on probably how much time, how much the, 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 the commissioner, the donor is paying, and, and how skilled the artist actually is, or knowledgeable about the actual system. In some cases, the artist might simply copy another painting and maybe copy it not as well. So, so we have these differences. Now, when depicting the, the Atisha system, you can have any number of, well, a few different Taras. You can have a uh, 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 red Tara at, as the main figure. Uh, you can have the green Tara, and you can have white Tara. It's common to have the green Tara of the, the sandalwood forest with the Marichi on one side and the Ekijati on the other, and then have the 21 Taras surrounding those. So, so there's a great variety uh, in how this can be done, and it's not really... It, it, we can't really say it's it's always text based. It's it's often it's, it's the artist, the artist is deciding, or or the donor is choosing. Uh, now, also with with painting, we have single composition where all twenty one are in one uh, single painting, or we have um, sometimes three figures per composition, and then we have we have a number of paintings, and then we also have. Uh, we have sets where each figure of the 21 Taras is in their own composition. So we have a minimum of 21 paintings. And then uh, 22, 23, 24, depending on if they're adding uh, the green Tara of the Sandalwood Forest. Now, for sculpture, we also have uh, different sculpture sets. And most are most are uniform where, where they're holding the vase in the right hand, but I have seen one set where the vase is held in the left. So this is obviously artists making some variations that are not actually precisely textual. So 
what you have to look for is always look for the vase in the hand. If you're looking at a composition and you see a uh, painted composition and you see uh, a lot of female deities all looking the same, then you have to assume that it must be some sort of uh, 21 Taras and then look for the vase to determine if it's the Atisha system.